As always, in late January, a day of remembrance is held dedicated to the memory of all the Jews killed by the Nazis during the Second World War. Amid the ceaseless flow of stories that fill the newspapers and television, also in Israel during these days, we spoke with Father David Newhouse, vicar for the Hebrew-speaking Catholic community in Israel. Born Jewish, his family was forced to emigrate from Berlin when the delusional Nazi project was beginning to take hold in Europe. With regard to my own family, my family was for centuries and centuries and centuries, we don't know for how long, uh, uh, living in what became Germany. And they were fully integrated. During the First World War, I have a number of uncles who died serving in the German army. In fact, I was shown as a child a box of military medals that my uncles won as signs of their bravery defending their fatherland, which was Germany. And the great shock when Hitler came to power in 1933, and slowly but surely, or in fact quite fast, the Jews were removed from German society. It was a terrible shock for the Jews in Germany because they saw themselves as so fully integrated as Germans, as proud German citizens who were serving their country and their society. And thanks be to God, my own direct ancestors understood that the time had come to flee and they fled to South Africa. All the members of the family who stayed behind on both sides of my family, both my mother's family and my father's family, died during the Holocaust, most of them in the concentration camps, although some members of the family in fact committed suicide when they realized that they were about to be arrested by the, by the Nazis. And so my family's story is a very, very common family story in Israel because the State of Israel was in fact founded to a large extent in order to accommodate those who survived the Holocaust. For many years, humanity has sought to make sense of what happened. Without success, someone tried to suggest that the death of God had arrived. I often say that it is not God who died in Auschwitz, but rather the human person who died in Auschwitz. In that sense, God dies with his children, but of course remains faithful to life. And we believe also that Jesus who died is the resurrected one. For that reason, I think that also there is cause to celebrate the fact that there are still Jews in the world today. The Jewish people continued to live on, and that too is a sign of God's fidelity. We must now make sure as Jews and as Christians, that something like the Holocaust never happens again. And maybe one day mankind will find the courage to repeat with conviction and a voice what the Rabbi Elio Toaf said at the end of the Shoah. The sacrifice of those millions of deaths has atoned for the sins of a world plunged into violence and racist folly, he said, and renewed in men a sense of justice, morality and the divine, helping mankind to see once again in one's neighbour the image of God, to respect, to honour, to be loved.